Senior Bowl coming up tomorrow. We will have the latest on that on this Friday edition of NFL Total Access. Keeping up with the Joneses today. <laughs> oh, yeah, Say hello hurt. to James Jones what's and Maurice Jones. JJ, what's up? Brother? I missed you. Man, what's going on? Down, Russell man? Wilson, always... he say hey, hey to you in Green Bay. Oh man, no man. Okay, he was too busy. <laughs> Next week on NFL Network, here's the plan for tomorrow on NFL Total Access. We've got three shows for you. We've got one before. We've got one at halftime, and we've got one after the Senior Bowl. A lot of eyes on quarterbacks, of course, like Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert of Oregon, MJD got a running back for us. Oh, circle. Lindsay, thank you for asking. Uh -oh. Joshua uh -oh. Kelly <laughs> out of Sorry, UCLA, yeah. back to back oh, thousand yard season, man. both years at 12 touchdowns, runs hard, breaks tackle, and guess what? He put it on USC a couple years ago, oh, so you know, stop it. you know he's gonna shine in the okay, big game. Okay, that's enough that's what out of you. How about a wide receiver? Surprise, surprise! I'm going with a small school kid out of Liberty, Antonio Gandy. Go, listen! I just watched him. He might be the best receiver in the draft. The, in best? the, draft? the best receiver wow, in the draft. JJ. I mean, the kid is six foot, two twenty, fourteen hundred yards. Hey, don't just go over who we play and all that. Turn on the film now, scouts. Watch the film. Okay, the future stars of the NFL. A couple names you're not talking about who could start in the Super Bowl that's mm -hmm. coming up tomorrow on NFL Total Access after the Senior Bowl. Found just about every graphic <laughs> that was available in that well package done, to well find done. a way to utilize. Well so they have experience bowling through defenses, yeah. but they don't have any experience in the Super Bowl in terms of you know, the, the larger picture of things. They've got seven guys, the San Francisco 49ers, who have been there and done that. But the Chiefs only have two. Ooh. So nobody yeah. here. It's going to be a first for a lot of people. You went there one time. You won that game. What's the best piece of advice? What do you remember? I remember members do the best you can to block that away from them. That are a little bit banged up. You know a little bit about what that's like. Absolutely, man. Going through the Super Bowl run, I had to shoot up both. A, a single catch in practice the no, two weeks leading up to No, do not throw me it, the ball said. in practice because I can't shoot it in practice, so do not throw. It's going to hurt too bad, but we all got to go out there for our teammates. Ride or die. So maybe we overthink these whole practices <laughs> things. It's the big game. The latest episode of NFL Network's original series, Indivisible, former NFL player Nate Boyer joins the Miami Dolphins in exploring police outreach in the community and dives with military vets to examine an effort to save coral reefs as the season's journey concludes at the site of Super Bowl 54. Both times in Lambeau Field, in the cold, Ooh. came out there and beat us up. I mean, made a bunch of throws. Still hurts me till this day to talk about it. And it's crazy because I signed with the Giants. And when I went to the Giants, I walked through the building and I seen those trophies in there. And I started to bust the glass open and take <laughs> it back to, and take <laughs> it back to my brothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I, was, I was a new dude in there. I respect you know, it, I JJ. I like the research. <laughs>